that in the context of what is going on, not just with Ukraine, but also with the cost of living crisis, this is not the most important issue in the world. Having said that, people should obviously obey the law. Chris? Well, number one, we know that Boris Johnson has clearly misled lots of people by saying that there were no... No, you don't. Well, hang on, hang on. He, 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 he has said that the rules were followed at all times, which last week's revelation of 20 um, fixed penalty notices would, would rather suggest that was incorrect. The, the fact um, that the Prime Minister was given wrong information story. doesn't mean he misled people. So, the, just uh, Chris, I'll come back. So the Prime Minister was given wrong information. Is that the situation? Uh, well, the Prime Minister said that uh, he was told that the rules were followed, but that turns out not to be correct, and we know that fines have now been issued. But the Prime Minister can only work on the information he's given. So it was the information that was incorrect, not the Prime Minister? The, the, if the Prime Minister is told information that is incorrect uh, and passes that information on, he has made no deliberate effort to mislead anybody. You, you don't for one second countenance the idea he's attempted to mislead Parliament, Mr Rees-Mogg? No, I don't. OK, back to Chris. Chris? Well, I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous sycophancy because you owe the guy a job in the Cabinet.